Hello and welcome to a new tutorial. Today we are going to learn how to add a reflection to a photo. We are going to start from this photo and we are going to add really fast a reflection. We are starting the tutorial by using this photo of a castle. And now we are going to create a reflection by using the displacement map method. Alright, so let's create a new document. It's important to be a rectangle, not a square. We are going to use those sizes. Now uncheck this lock so we can edit the layer. Go to filter, add noise and the amount should be maximum. Also check Gaussian and monochromatic. Then go to filter again, choose blur and now Gaussian blur and choose around 2 pixels. I'm going to use 1.8. Go to channels, if you don't see here in the right the channels, go to window and choose channels. Now with all the channels selected, go to filter, choose stylize and click on emboss and keep 90 degree and the height 1 and the amount should be maximum 500%. Then click only on the red channel, go again to filter, do the same thing, choose emboss and now let's choose another angle depending on your image you can choose a really different angle for the moment I'm going to use 180 degree then go to green do the same thing go to filter stylize and then click on emboss now choose again a 90 degree angle then click on RGB to have all the channel selected this is really important go again to the layers menu and now we have created this image zoom out and then press ctrl T and right click on the image and choose the perspective now hold alt or option and drag the right side to the right until you'll see on the top around 2000% hit ok or double click on the image and this is the image that we created. This is our file that we are going to use for the displacement map. Now let's save this file, go to file, save, and I'm going to save again the displacement. And now let's go back to the castle. I'm going to drag this castle to the top. And now I'm going to duplicate this layer and I'm pressing Ctrl Command T and reverse it vertically. I'm going to drag it to the bottom. I'm going to find a position for the reflection. Now let's change the opacity so we can see which is the best position. I'm going to drag it a bit more to the bottom. I think this is a good position. Okay, let's bring back the opacity to 100% and now we are going to apply that displacement map. First we are going to make this layer a smart object. So right click on the layer and convert it to a smart object. Now go to filter and choose desert and from here use displace. And depending on your image size, those sizes could be bigger or even smaller. Now I'm going to use those settings 10 for the horizontal and 15 for the vertical. And I'm going to keep stretch to fit and repeat edge pixels. All right. And now it will ask me to click on my file that I've just created, which is this one. I'm opening. It will add that nice reflection effect. Now we are going to add a mask. So click on the mask and take the brush tool by pressing the letter B and be sure that the black color is selected. Now we are going to draw here on the top so we can match the reflection with the top image. All right, I think this is it. Now we have to make some small adjustments, but generally it looks really nice already. So I'm going to add a curves adjustment layer. So click on the curves, clip it by pressing this icon and it will affect only the bottom layer. And now drag this line a bit to the right so we can make it a bit darker. Now click on the mask of the curves adjustment and press Ctrl Command I 
to invert that mask. Or click on this icon where it says invert. Now take again the brush tool and choose the white color. And now we are going to draw some shadow because we already apply that curves adjustment layer. All right, now we are going to add one more thing, which is solid color. Hit OK. Now hold Alt or Option and clip this layer inside our displacement layer. Now double click on this icon and choose a color from the sky, which is something like that. Hit OK. Now again choose Invert to invert the mask to have the black color mask. And now, with the white color, I'm going to draw that bluish color that I took from the sky. And this is it. So this is a really nice way to add a reflection to a photo. And what I love the most at this method is that next time I don't have to go to all the details here to create this file because I already save it. So if I use another photo, I'm going to use the same displacement map. So if you learned something new today, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video. It will help me a lot to keep on posting interesting tutorials. See you next time.